newly appointed ZANU PF National Political Commissar threatens a repeat of 2008 violence. Newly appointed ZANU PF National Political Commissar, Right Lieutenant General Engelbert Ryuge has sent shivers down people's spines after he warned supporters gathered at Muang Ma Business Center in Gyuta to be mindful of the violence unleashed onto the country after his party lost the 2008 general elections to MDCT. He said people should always remember 2008 as the country hurdles towards the 2018 general elections expected within the next seven months. Hundreds of people were maimed in torture camps in Mass Bingo. Women now are underscored and scores of people killed in the worst election violence ever experienced in the province. Ironically just 200 meters from where Ryuge addressed last week's meeting was a torture base where civil servants including teachers were subjected to all forms of punishment and humiliation and the wounds are still fresh. Ryuge who declared that ZANU PF will rule Zimbabwe because the Kamad Hongi and Renai Anga, until forever, also reminded supporters of the way former President Mugabe was removed from power last November. People at the rally also attended by the Mirror said although Ryuge called for unity and peace, his warnings on 2008 had a chilling effect as some lost family members at the time. Ryuge was speaking at an event to celebrate the return of Bupurai Togarapi, the National Youth Secretary deposed at the height of Lacoste and G40 fights within ZANU-PF. The event was attended by ZANU-PF Chief Whip Love Amoramatuk, Masvingo Provincial Chairman Ezra Chad Zamira, Harare Youth Chairman Godfrey Gom and other high-ranking party officials. Togarapi comes from Uta South and is believed to be eyeing former Minister of State for Masvingo. Paul Chimans's parliamentary seat. Ryuge said he came to Masvingo in 2008 when things were bad and he corrected the situation. Ryuge who was a serving member of the Zimbabwe National Army at the time said he again led the party's campaigns in the 2013 general elections and ZANU-PF made a clean sweep of the 26 seats on the table. We are getting towards important elections this year. I came here in 2008 when things were bad. I don't know where Masvingo had got the spirit and I came and sorted things out. I came back again in 2013 and led the campaign team and I moved around the province addressing rallies and the results were impressive and this saw the current party president giving Masvingo the post of political commissar. I expect you to give ZANU PF all seats in Masvingo now that I am full time in politics, said Ryuj. Political commentator Dr. Fidel Duri described Ryuge's speech as tragic as it did not augur well for the country's new political dispensation that seeks to risk war international confidence and attract investment to the country's ailing economy. He said the speech gives credence to views held by skeptics that Zimbabwe is indeed under military rule and there will be no free and fair elections in the country this year. Ryuge's threats are unfortunate. In terms of foreign policy in President Than Gagwa's appeal to local and foreign investors for investments. Re-engagement requires guarantees of a safe and secure economic and political environment, said Dr. Dury. MDC Alliance spokesperson Professor Welshman Cube said the group has carried out two coups in a space of 10 years and they don't change. You must understand that Ryuge was the one assigned to commit murder and torture in Masvingo in 2008 and these are the same people who carried out a coup against Svan Irai in 2008. It only shows the nature of ZANU PF where a leopard never changes its spots, said Cube. NPP spokesperson Jeffrey Zinchitondo said Ryuge should not behave in such a manner as his own relatives can also be caught in between the violence.